Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install Kali Linux 2021.1 along with Windows 10 without losing any data. Yes if you want to dual boot Windows 10 and Kali Linux, you have Windows 10 installed on your computer. So, we have to get the new version of Kali Linux which is available on the official website of Kali. Now we have to create unallocated space for installing the Kali Linux. So I have three partitions and one partition is empty. I want to install it in this partition so I have to make it an unallocated partition. If you have one partition so you have to shrink your partition and create one. So how to make an unallocated partition let's go. So right click on Windows icon and click on Disk Management. Here you can see the all partitions with details. Now select the partition and right click on it. And then select the delete volume option. Now you can see this partition is an unallocated partition in Windows 10. And how to make a new partition from a single partition click on the I button. Connect your bootable USB drive with your Windows 10. How to create Kali Linux bootable USB drive click on I button. And reboot your Windows 10. Now got to the BIOS settings by pressing the function key. In my case F2 key to enter the BIOS setup. Here go to the boot option and make your USB drive is the first boot device. I am using legacy boot priority or you can say BIOS mode. Or you can directly select the first boot device. In my case, I am pressing the F10 key to enter the boot menu. And here you have to just select your USB drive. And simply hit enter to boot your computer. Now you can see your Kali Linux installer menu starts in BIOS mode. Here you have to select the option how you want to install your Kali. I choose here graphical install. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Now select your location, it is based on the language you selected. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. It is detecting the installation media and loading the additional components. Here, you have to configure your network if you get the option. I am using a Wi-Fi connection, so I use WLAN0 to connect my computer to the internet. You can simply click on continue and choose the option continue without network. Now here you have to enter the hostname for this system. Here if you want to enter your domain name you can otherwise leave it empty. Here set up the full username for this system. Now here set up a username for your account. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux users. Now we have to create the partitions here. You can create a partition manually here, or you can choose the first option guided use the largest continuous free space. This option choose the unallocated partition. Now click on continue and here you can choose any option according to your need, I am select the first option. Now here you can see the partitions details to verify the partitions information. And here select the yes option and click on continue. Now it is installing the base system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. The default desktop environment is XFCE I am going with default settings here. Now here installing the selected software. Now here we have to install the grub, so select the yes option and click on continue. Here you have to select the drive and click on continue. Now it is installing the grub bootloader in our system. Now our Kali Linux installation is completed. Click on continue to rebooting your system. Now here in grub menu, you have to select the operating system which you want to boot. I want to start Windows 10 so select Window 10.
Now here in Grub menu, if you want to boot from Kali Linux, you have to select Kali Linux. Your default booting operating system will be Kali Linux. In the dual boot, you can use your drives from Kali Linux. You can use all the drive from here. So that is it. This is the way how to dual boot Kali Linux and Windows 10 on your machine. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.